folks, we are here with Timber Game Outdoors. Um, I'm Bryant. I'm Adam. And we're here at Strawberry Reservoir, the very last week of May. Yep, it's been a really wet spring this year, um, and a cold wet spring, and so uh, the lake has risen up really high. Yeah, at the, about its highest point. Um, that I've ever seen it um, and today we just want to you know give some tips and tricks on how to fish strawberry and and see if we can't help you out a little bit so let's uh, first go through some good lures and jigs and stuff that have worked well here alright so uh, quickly we'll just gonna go through a few basic lures that I've used here done really well um, throughout the spring I've really done well on a this is a jointed chub colored Rapala. It's a nice Rapala for using at the top water. It's good when they're near the surface, near the shore. It's not very heavy, can't cast it far. But I probably caught more fish, nice cutthroat on this lure than, than any other here. And then just some other basic Rapalas. Um, mostly chub colored Rapalas is what I use here. Um, just a, a standard, a little bit heavier. Um, one to, for deeper water, another jointed Rapala. Um, some people like to use, you know, just some basic spoons, but I've never had much success here um, on those. Um, the other lures I use a lot here, through here, um, depending on what you want, if you want rainbows especially, um, what works well is a cast master. Um, I've had the best luck on a on a silver. Cast Master, just like those two right there that are hooked together. Silver Cast Master, and also on either a gold or silver uh, Jakesler. And uh, I've caught a few more cutthroat on the Jakeslers than the Cast Master, so if you're going for camp, kind of both cutthroat and, and some both cutthroat and rainbows. The Jake's is a little bit better option than the Cast Master. If you just want rainbows, Cast Master is great. Um, and finally, what I've used probably more so in the fall than any other time of the year um, are some pretty large tube jigs. Um, pretty close to about as big as you can get them. Um, without getting ridiculous anyways. Um, and the tube jigs you know, kind of look like octopus. Um, don't caught fish on all sorts of colors, but mostly uh, the white and the dark green. Here's a green one. Have, have done the best for me. Um, and just kind of can tip that with some shiner or or a trawdad tail or, or something. It adds a little bit extra to it if you tip your jig with a little bit of some bait like that. So those are some good lures for using and good if you like to use a lure and work your line a little bit more. Those work really well here at Strawberry. Hang out and, and use some bait. Brian will go through some good uh, bait options. So as far as bait fishing goes here at Strawberry, um, Adam and I prefer using chubs and shiners. Um, we usually either cut, or, cut them up into meat and use chunks of them or we'll actually use the whole shiner or chub. Um, and what you're doing when you when you use the chubs and shiners is you're focusing on a bigger fish. And here at Strawberry, it's extremely typical to uh, catch a 20-inch cutthroat um, or bigger on a very consistent basis. And, but with the bait fishing, you can when you're using the chubs and shiners, you can you can drift from a boat or you can come out and uh, do what Adam and I do and just chill on the bank and build a fire and just relax, throw them out. And a lot of times with these big cutthroat is they tend to cruise along the shore, even in the middle of the summer. If you think that you have to be out in the middle of the lake because they do move out in the summer as the water warms up, but um, a lot of times the, the big cutthroat will, will cruise the bank even in the middle of the summer. And um, that's, that's kind of what Adam and I focus on, the chubs and, chubs and shiners. So, so you can keep them, you know, on the top, pull them below a bubble, you know, a couple feet below the surface of the water, or you can uh, sink them down and, and let them 
scavenge the, the meat off the, the bottom. Those big cutthroat will just go through and dig right through the moss and mud to, to find food. So, but and of course you can always use power bait. You know, bring out the kids, just use some power bait, catch some rainbows, and have a great day. Either way, yeah. so. power bait and worms work yep. great. The regulations here at, at Strawberry are to keep the chub population down. Um, and so the feed doesn't diminish for the, the sport fish, such as cutthroat and rainbow. And, those, uh, those big cutthroat, they'll eat a 7 inch chub, no problem. Yeah. So, you know, it's been great, a lot of big fish, and they do, they manage the chub population. So, you know, please follow the slot limit and don't keep any cutthroat between 15 and 22 inches and keep it enjoyable for everyone. Let's uh, do some fishing now. Okay, we're gonna actually do some fishing. It's a good, it's a good fish. It's a good fish. It's probably a keeper. Wow! And my jag is not extremely loose. Like Christmas. I saw like it. Christmas. <laughs> I know, he's just a fighter. Yeah, he's a keeper. I think he's a keeper. What do you think, Daryl? Oh, he's a keeper. He's <laughs> a good fish. He's on top. Is he? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, we got one. He's 22. He's only 20. 22 and a half. Yeah, I can't. Tell if my, I'm bending the tape measure or not. Okay, put him on top of it. Okay. 22 and a, about 3 eighths. Really? Yep. Sweet, he's fat. He's a nice thick fish. Strawberry's fun. It's a blast. Oh yeah. <laughs> Much rather be here than just about anywhere. <laughs> Chelsea, he doesn't mean that. I said just about anywhere. I left <laughs> myself some wiggle room in there. <laughs> you can usually do pretty well out here at Schofield. Bring the kids out. We're at Strawberry. And uh... <laughs> Schofield's a great place too. <laughs> you know, multiple trips we've had lots of stuttering and <laughs> craziness. <laughs> hey. What are you, what are you talking about? Because I can't finish a... I'm trying to talk about bait fishing and for some reason I can't finish everything that I want to say. What were we talking about? I can't remember. I got up at 2.45 this morning to get here from Brigham City. I was awake at 4 in the morning.